So you've gotten to the point in your game of Grounded where you're looking to do the last of your peeping tasks. You'll notice when you come down here in the Harmless tab, you are now missing seven entries that you did not have before. And you're thinking to yourself, where, what are these? What am I missing? Well, what you are missing are going to be the ant queens as well as the baby ants. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to go through and befriend each of the different ant queens. That's going to be the red ant queen, the fire ant queen, and the black ant queen, all of them, which you can unlock via the different chips that you get from the backyard through going through and making the food for each of them, which you will need an oven in order to do you can go through and get all of your peeping tasks done. I will also warn all of you or give you a little bit of a tip to go through and do this before you've gone through and done your first remix. If you've already done a remix, go through and do it now before you start doing subsequent go throughs because the parts that you're going to be able to get from sacrificing them, you can get to make different armor sets and furniture and stuff. We'll talk about that in another video for the other things you can do with the Ant Queens. But today we're going to be focusing purely on making them your new best friends so the first thing you guys need to do is you need to go through and get a couple of different burgled chips and an oven an oven you need the charcoal order to get guys just go out and get it and make yourself an oven the second thing you need to do is you're going to need to go over to the science shop guys because all of the different friendship offerings are bought through burgle for 2500 raw science a piece we'll start off with the red ant offering guys this one comes from the haze chip this is going to come from you guys completing the haze base if you guys have not already done on that it's going to be over here right on there the haze lab you go through you go all the way through fight the infected ladybug and you can grab yourself the haze chip that's how you're going to unlock the first of the three friendship offerings for the red ant queen the next one you're probably going to end up getting is going to be the black ant queen now the black ant queen friendship offering for this one guys you're going to unlock that one by going through and getting the assistant manager key card by beating up on the assistant manager that's inside of the black ant hill lab you grab his key card and then you're going to come over here and go into the sandbox lab outpost that's all the way over here it's going to be on on the table inside of this outpost so go over there grab that one and bring it back to burgle and you'll unlock all sorts of stuff including the ability to buy the black ant queen's offering and lastly guys you're going to have the fire ant queen's offering this one is going to be the most difficult one for you to get because you need to get into the hidden stump lab the hidden stump lab guys in order to get in there the first thing you need to do is defeat the assistant manager to get his key card the next thing you need to do is hop into the pond right about here there is going to be a lab in the wall that you're going to be able to go into use the assistant manager key card to get into a room that's in there and press a button this button will end up opening up a door that's all the way in the back over here inside of this stump in order for you to go into the stump lab outpost inside of the stump out lab outpost there's going to be a new burgle chip in there for you to grit and when you get that and bring it all the way back to burgle you can get the fire queen or fire ant queen's friendship offering each of them are their own different recipe in order to make but like i said before you will need an oven in order to make all three of them coming over to the oven here guys you can see that you have them you just need to scroll down a little bit and you have the juicy mushroom sandwich this one is for the red ant queen some apple bits some mushrooms and some aphid honey you honestly the easiest of the three to make makes sense it's the red ant queen we're gonna get that going right now then you need the yummy gum sandwich this one is in order to get the black ant queen to become your best friend and you will get this one by using two cookie sandwich bits five gum nuggets and five aphid honeydew and finally we have the tasty toe jam sandwich guys this one is going to be for the fire ant queen this one you need two donut chunks two toenails and five aphid honeydew in order to make this specific sandwich now let's run over to the red ant queen and i'll show you guys why you need to give them the friendly offering before any of the other ones 
So here we are with the gorgeous red ant queen. By the way, they've gone through and made these queens look absolutely wonderful. They did some great work here. But anyway, you can offer them a treat. Now I've gone through and I've made all three of the different treats. We have the juicy mushroom sandwich. This one is the red ant queen's favorite food. This one can be done. And when you give them this offering, guys, what that ends up unlocking is not only a baby ant, but it also allows you to grab these red ant friend offerings as well which are going to end up giving you the red ant queen's pheromones which we'll talk about that more in just a second you can also offer them a poison mushroom sandwich and an infected mushroom sandwich but we'll talk more about those in another video including their locations and what they do to the ant queen but for ins but for now let's just stick with making a friendly offering to the queen so be warned guys, you can only do this once per new game, aka when you're in your original game, you could do it once, getting in a new game plus, you can do it again, getting a new plus game plus two, you can do it again, and so on and so forth. So you want to start off with giving the queen ant the regular food offering. The reason why you want to do this is for a couple different things. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and feed you up here really quick. You look very happy and you've gone through and given me a new little pal. Now, for all of you completionists out there, this is exactly why you need to do this is for peeping wise. You go through and you get yourself a baby red ant card. You can also peep yourself a queen ant and there you go. You got your red queen ant card. And guys, that is going to help you fill out this bottom harmless line that you have here getting your baby ant and your red queen ant you can get the black queen ant and the black baby ant you can get the fire queen ant and the fire ant baby as well and then finally the last one in here is a crow but we'll talk about that a little bit later on but the last bonus you get for going ahead and becoming their best friend is twofold. You get yourself a new mutation. This mutation allows you to have human ant on for not only red ants, but then it'll go on to black ants and fire ants as you've gone through each of the different phases. And finally, you get free egg offerings over here, guys. It gives you a few red ant eggs that you can use for yourself to make your bombs as well as those queen ant pheromones. What are those queen ant pheromones for, guys? They're used for crafting. They're going to go through and I'll show you guys right now. If we scroll down here, we go to those queen ant pheromones here really quick inside here. You'll see that you get two different things in here. What are those two different things? Well, let's go to our research station and I'll show you. So when you take that red pheromone, red ant pheromone, you come right back over here and you end up hitting the research panel here. It is a rare resource. It's going to give you some raw science, but it's also going to give you a three different items. The queen ant scepter, the red ant queen chase, and the red ant queen chandelier. Now, all of these are craftable now that you have that pheromone. You can go through and make all those couple different furniture options as well as a weapon that's going to help you out with your little army that you can now make with your queen ant scepter but there's also two other things they're used in as well and that's going to be the armor for the queen ant and in order to unlock that this is why i said you guys are going to want to do befriending her in the first one because in order to get into the armor you actually need to kill the queen ants and We'll talk more about that in another one. But guys, you can go through, you can get those pheromones to unlock different items. The black queen ant is going to give you a repair item and the fire queen ant is going to give you the fourth staff in the game with their pheromone. It is the acid gland staff. It's awesome. It melts in this game when it starts getting upgraded. You guys are going to love to use it. Go out there and get that one. But guys, that's how you go through and befriend each one of the queen ants. Go through, get those recipes, get out there, make some new best friends and check out some of the brand new gear that you can get in grounded's fully yoked update but thank you guys so much for watching this one don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and comment if you haven't already and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one